Hello everyone. My name is Vince. Welcome to Yin Yoga. For this class, you'll need props like bolsters and blocks or any other readily available similar prop that you may have in the comfort of your home. And you can use as many as you can try to grab. And when you're ready, please join me in a seated position with the eyes closed, with your spine long, with the sit bones firmly rooting you into the mat, with the edges of your legs touching the earth and with all the rest of the parts of your body expanding upward, sideward. And please try to notice your breath as you sit here. Nothing that you need to manipulate or change. Just try to notice the breath. Try to notice your heartbeat. Try to observe your mind. What do you feel at this exact moment in time? in this exact space. What sounds do you hear around you? How does the air feel as it touches the edges of your skin? Just try to notice. Try to be conscious and try to be aware of how being here right now feels. Body, heart, mind. If you would want to, I am inviting you to set an intention for your practice. Maybe answer why you press that play button, why you showed up on your mat. Take a deep breath. Feel the body. Feel your mind. Feel the heart. Just be aware. Gently open your eyes. Can you try to sit? facing the long side of your mat. So if you're facing the short side, just try to move yourselves 
And then can you just extend your legs, bring the legs in front of you, soles of your feet together, try to open up the soles of your foot like they are pages of an open book. See if there's a wide gap in between the knees and your mat. Try to place props. You can place your bricks or even your pets can be props as long as they're okay. Have more props in front of you. It might come in handy later. You can stack your props. Inhale, lift the arms up. And as you exhale, we're going to fold forward and down. When your body stops, that is your edge. So just stay. You don't need to pull. You don't need to push yourselves. If your body, your head stopped very high, you can place your elbows on top of your props and just rest your head on the palms of your hands. Or maybe rest your forehead on your hands. Or for some of you, maybe you can rest your forehead on your forearms. What's important here is you find your edge, that edge wherein you feel a nice stretch on the tissues in your back, and you feel a nice stretch as well on the tissues of your inner legs. And then just support your head, just relax. Try to notice how it feels to rest your brain this way. Finding our edge, staying there in stillness, and waiting for time. These are the three tenets of yin yoga. These three aspects are always present in all of the poses. We do things slowly. We do things with less intensity than we're used to. We just try to soften. We just try to relax. We just try to surrender. We just try to be. You will only get as much as you surrender whenever you practice in yoga. Only as much as you're willing to let go. And the same goes with our lives. Of course, when we give ourselves, when we surrender, requires courage to face our vulnerabilities. This is easier said than done. And as we stay here, we are able to cultivate internal strength physically for our bones, for our joints, for our connective tissues. Mentally, cultivating that ability to stay with ourselves. And emotionally, to try to be self-aware of the different aspects of our body 
Please take an inhale. Please energize your hands and your arms. And we'll slowly prop ourselves up. We'll place the props beside us. Now, please keep your left leg exactly as it is as you slowly just try to straighten the right leg to the sides. Now, gently place the left sole of your foot on the inside of the right thigh. Face the torso towards that extended right leg and then carefully and gently we will fold forward and down towards that extended right leg. Again, you can try to grab your props. You can place it on top of the knees, on top of that right leg. You can place a pillow in between the belly and the right thigh. You can stack your props so that your forehead is rested. Notice how it feels to stretch the whole back of your right leg. How it feels to imagine moving the right heel further away from you and then pulling the right sit bones back that opposite direction of a nice stretch that helps elongate the fiber on the tissues at the back of the legs. You can stay here as we stretch the whole back of your legs and lower back. Or you can place your props aside. Place a prop on the inner right knee. Maybe you can place your right elbow on top of that prop. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Can you place that left hand behind the left ear? Maybe your right hand can support your head. As you notice now, the stretch has shifted from your back now to the sides of your body. Just try to relax your feet, relax your legs. Just soften, just relax. Notice how your body is opening up. If you see if you can lean back more. Now, you can stay here, or if you can try to Use your left fingers to reach for the right toes. And notice how this really stretches you on the left side of your body. Just relax here. Just relax the face. Relax the neck. Inhale, can you slowly lift the left arm up, place that left hand behind you, and can you apply weight on the left shin, the left knee, slowly lift the hips up, and lift the right arm up, and point that right arm behind you, and try to stretch the whole right side of your body. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, you'll rest the hips on the mat. Now, can you extend the left leg to the sides? Bend that right knee this time, and place the sole of your right foot on the inner left thigh. 
point your torso towards that extended left leg and we're going to fold forward and down bringing your head close to where your knees are have your props ready you can place your props on top of the left knee or maybe place the bolster in between your belly and the left thigh maybe you can also place a prop under your forehead notice how this feels notice the left leg the stretch that is happening at the back of the left leg the hamstrings notice the right knee as well if you feel any unnecessary stress there you can place a bolster to protect that right knee notice this back bend the decompression that is happening in the lower back be aware of the mind the thoughts coming in and out be aware of the heart the feelings that are coming and going be aware of the sensations in the body each moment that we are here our body is opening up so you can stay here or you can try to place your left elbow on the inner left knee or you can place a prop on the inner left leg and then bring the right arm up place that right hand behind the left ear the left head the left side of your head and support your head with the left hand just rest here relax let go everything is of passing importance everything that comes goes so just forgive just let go try not to take things too seriously happiness is achieved by that constant practice of releasing and letting go and taking in positivity see if you can lean back maybe the right fingers can try to reach for the left toes here see if that is accessible for you but self-care is our priority the main, the main reason why we are all here right now so don't try to push yourselves too much just accept where your body allows you to be and just release and let go slowly bring the right arm up for those who are folded forward slowly come up and place the right hand behind you and can you try to energize the right leg lean on the right shin the right knee lift the hips up lift the left arm up and try to point that left hand towards the back as you stretch the whole left side of your body feeling a long line of energy from the toes the left toes to the tip of your left finger and slowly bring the hips down and then can you step your feet wide apart and windshield wiper the knees from side to side now can you extend your legs 
in front of you. Inhale, lift the arms up. And as we exhale, we're going to fold forward and down. We're going to stretch the whole back of our body. A few options here. You can place your arms under the legs, under the knees, and hug the legs. Or you can place props. It can be pillows or bolsters in between the thighs and the belly. And then you can place props as well in between the legs. And slowly, you can see if you can rest your forehead on the mat or on the prop. Just rest here. Just relax. Feel the long static holds aware of the sensations in our body. Aware of the restful state in our brain, in our heart. Try to see where we can find softness or where we can find more space. Maybe you can try to move your heels further away from you and try to bring the buttocks to the back and feel that stretch at the back of your legs. But if it's too much for you, feel free to bend the knees. And just relax. Just feel. Yin yoga is a practice. that tries to draw out the calmness, the kindness, the gentleness in us. As we connect within, we find these aspects within ourselves. As we reconnect within, as we find that quiet stillness, we discover these aspects within us. And we are more ourselves when we are able to connect to these aspects of us. The more grounded, the more authentic, the more real us. Strength is not all about aggression. A lot of times, strength is also about that calmness, that groundedness, that unshakability. Feel the stretch. In the body. In the mind and in the heart. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, Place the hands beside you, energize the hands, the arms, and slowly we'll push our body to come up, to prop ourselves up. And place the hands behind you, 
can lean back, you can step the feet on the mat, you can puff the chest up, you can try to bring the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift the hips up. You can either bring the chin closer to the chest or drop the head back. And as you exhale, rest the pelvis on the mat. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the hips up. Your choice on the head. And as you exhale, rest the pelvis on the mat. Last one here. Inhale, lift the hips up. And as you exhale, we'll rest the pelvis on the mat. Can you extend your right leg? Keep that. Can you extend the left leg? Keep the right leg bent. And can you place your left hand on top of the right knee, right hand behind you, and slowly will gaze towards the left shoulder, the right shoulder only if it's comfortable. Feel the body, feel the breath in this twist. Try to relax the feet, try to relax the legs as we gaze towards the right shoulder and relax. Nothing you need to force. See where you can find softness. Take an inhale and slowly face front. And as you exhale, extend that right leg, bend the left knee, keep the left hand behind you. You can either hug that left knee with the right hand or place the right elbow outside the left knee as you gaze towards the left shoulder. And just relax here. Just feel this twist. Notice your breath. Try to elongate the spine. Just be here right now. Notice how there's that compression, that massage happening in your digestive organs. And how we're able to move the tissues on the sides of your spine to try to squeeze and detoxify and allow movement of fluids in and out to flush any stagnation away into the bloodstream. Just relax, just soften. And take an inhale and slowly face front. And now gently, we're all going to make our way to lie down on our belly. Now, as we lie down on our belly, we're going to rest our forehead on our forearms. Notice how it feels to breathe as you rest in this prone position. Take an inhale, slowly peel the head, peel the chest from the mat. You can place your forearms in front of you, elbows either under the shoulders or a bit more forward. Imagine that most of the day you're seated. Your spine is rounding and curling. And this time we're trying to 
bring our spine in that opposite orientation of this back bend. Try to imagine your chest wanting to move forward. Try to imagine your lower back being a given a strong stress and compression. Try to relax the feet. Try to relax your legs. Try to relax the neck and face. You can stay here, or if you want to, you can extend your arms, lean on your hands, come into this deeper expression of this back bend. Very good to improve posture, very good to counter the effects of rounding on our spine. If it's too much for you, you can slowly come back down. Or if you want a bit more, see if it will feel good to bend the knees, bring the heels closer, to the back or the buttocks. Again, if you try it and it's too much for you, you can bring the legs down. It's perfectly fine. Or you can come down on your forearms. You can rest your chin on your hands. You can rest your forehead on your hands. Just try to relax here. If you're on your seal pose, you can now slowly come down on your forearms. You can continue to stay on your sphinx pose, or if it's too much for you, you can already slowly rest your forehead on your forearms. You can gaze towards the right. So let's all now come down on our forearms on a resting belly pose. Resting our forehead on our forearms facing towards the right side. Can you try to draw your right knee to the sides? And just try to release the lower back. And then can you slowly face towards the left shoulder and slowly bring the right leg back down and slowly draw that left knee up to the sides as we release on the other side. They can inhale, and as you exhale, slowly extend that left leg. And then we'll go, we're going to roll ourselves so that we can lie down on our back. And can you try to grab your blocks? Place them beside you. We'll need it on our next pose. Can you bend your knees? Bend the knees. Bring the arms to the sides. Try to grab your block. 
choose the lowest height. I would suggest for you to choose the lowest height. If you have two blocks and you want to be higher, you can stack your blocks one on top of the other on their lowest height. Take an inhale and place your blocks, your stack of books, or maybe even a pillow on top of it or bolster under the sacrum. Try to make sure that it's not touching any part of your spine. It's along your pelvis or where your buttocks are. And slowly, please straighten and extend your legs. And then bring the arms up overhead. And notice how this gives a nice stretch in front of your hips. So we did a lot of stretches for our back and for the sides of our back earlier. This time notice how it feels to stretch the front of our body. It's always good to do counter poses. We did a few forward, forward folds earlier and now we're doing our second consecutive back bend. It's like yin and yang. It's the balance in our lives. When we do one thing, when we do a lot of forward folds, it's good to do some back bends. When we do something warm, it's good to do something cool. When we move, we should make time to rest. As we balance ourselves, as we balance our body, we create space for growth. We create space to develop. We prevent burnout. And we promote optimum development of body, mind, and heart. Notice how this stretch feels. It's like we're breaking up the whole fascia with this block supporting us in the middle section. Very good to try to address back pain. It's a very good way to place ourselves in a gentle inversion to try to detoxify, try to rejuvenate the brain, the body, the heart. Just relax here. Continue to try to be aware. When we are able to practice mindfulness and awareness more often we'll notice how we're able to slow down how the mind operates we're able to dissect we're able to see and observe when we are not mindful when we are rushing after a stimulus, there's always a response and barely enough mindfulness to think through. But as we practice mindfulness, we can lengthen that space in between a trigger and the response so that we can choose how to react. We can be empowered to try to exercise our power of choice to determine the course of our lives and to choose a more positive outcome. Notice the body. Notice the mind. Take an inhale. Can you please bring the arms beside you? Bend the knees. And when you're ready, 
using breath, please take an inhale and lift the hips up and move the props aside as you rest your pelvis on the mat. Kiss the knees together. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Then please bend the knees and hug the knees to your chest. Please place the arms out to the sides like a letter T. Please step the feet on the mat. Inhale, lift the hips up and can you transfer the hips to the left side as you allow your knees to come down on the right. If there's space in between the knees, you can grab a prop, support the legs. You can gaze towards the ceiling or towards the left shoulder. Come into this reclined twist. Compare it to how it feels or how it felt when you did a twist sitting down. Notice the space on the sides of your body. Please bring the arms up overhead. Please grab opposite elbows. And just feel this nice twist and enjoy. Notice the breath. Notice the mind. Gratitude for this moment and all the positive feelings that it brings. Gratitude for our breath and the life that it brings. Gratitude for our heartbeat and the energy that it brings. Gratitude for our skin for making us feel, our ears for making us hear and listen, our eyes for making us see and appreciate our tongue, our mouth, for allowing us to eat, to speak, and to whisper how much we love. Gratitude for our body and its ability to heal through hugging. Notice how it feels to just say thank you. Slowly bring the arms beside you. Place the props on the left side. 
slowly bring the knees back to center and then please do this carefully and gently please hug the knees to your chest And then please step your feet on the mat. Take an inhale. Can you lift your hips to the right side as you allow your knees to come down on the left side? And as your knees come down, notice if there's any space in between the floor or maybe in between the knees. You can grab your props to support your legs as you bring the arms out to the sides or up and overhead. Try to rest here. Try to feel and notice the spine, the belly, the breath. Try not to doze or switch off. Yoga is not about sleep. It's about awareness, consciousness, feeling, being aware without judgment. Try to notice how the body is transforming the heart, the mind. Notice the sensations. Notice the improvement. Notice the space. Notice how you're able to shift from your mind being all over the place to stillness. From agitation to clarity. Slowly bring the arms beside you and gently bring the knees 
up, place a prop under the legs, and then slowly extend your legs as we rest in our savasana. Place your arms beside you, your palms are facing up. And take rest. Let go and allow healing to take place. Find that softness. Feel the heaviness of your bones, of the pelvis. Notice your breath. Feel the air entering your nose and exiting your nose. Slowly take a deep breath. Okay. 
and introduce some movement to your fingers and toes. Maybe you can rotate your ankles and wrists. Maybe you can bring your arms up overhead. Bring the legs together, point the toes. And then can you bend your knees, hug the knees to the chest. And you bring your left arm up. Allow the knees to come down on the left side. And bend the elbows, use your left arm as your pillow allow your spine to round and use your right hand slowly push your body to come up we face front to seal our practice come into that comfortable seated position how we started can you bring your Hands together, rub the palms together vigorously, create that heat. And then place the palms on top of your eyes, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Ah. And you rub the palms together vigorously again to create that heat. Place the palms on top of your eyes, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Ah. Last one here. Rub the palms together. Create that heat. Place the palms on top of your eyes. This time we'll inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. You can place your palms together in heart center. On top of the groin or on top of the knees. Thank you all for allowing me to serve you. The light in me bows down to the light in each and every one of you. And I wish you all an abundance of wealth, health, happiness, peace, love, joy to flow into your hearts, to your loved ones, to your home. May you all please stay safe and strong. Namaste. Thank you.